Hello and welcome to WCPO Lounge X. I'm Brian Neese and I am here at the Lodge, Kentucky in Dayton, Kentucky. And I'm here joined by Cincinnati's own Lung. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having us. You guys have been busy in the pandemic, pandemic uh, recording some new music and we're gonna hear some of those new songs now. Uh, tell me what the first song you're gonna play is. Uh, it's called Landlocked. Landlocked from Lung at WCPO Lounge X. Take it away. Oh, 
That was Air from Lung. Before that, you heard Sugar Pill, and to start that off, you heard Landlocked. Um, Kate, Daisy, do, your, do, do me a favor and introduce each other uh, so that uh, some, the audience can get a feel for who you, you guys are. You introduce me, and I'll introduce you. Yeah. Well, Daisy. Daisy is a fantastic human being. Um, he w was raised by wolves in the Himalayas and played in bands and jumped on trains, and now he's here. And he's, he's, just, he's lived his best life, <laughs> and now it's only going downhill with this band. Kate just Wakefield kidding. is my best friend and bandmate, Aww. and uh, we, we rock his lung. So those three songs you just played, those are all off of your new LP. It's called Come Clean Right Now. Tell me about the album, and uh, it's on a local label, right? Yes, it's on uh, Sofa Burn Records is putting it out, and they're right down the street from Very here. Very local. Hi, Sofa Burn. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the record was kind of like something unexpected. I mean, the pandemic was unexpected and everything shut down and we canceled tours and things and I was pretty bummed out and Daisy knows that I che that it cheers me up when I write music. And he was like, he kept being like, you should send me some songs. We can work on songs. I'm like, we can't, we're not in the same space. He's like, yeah, we can, let's just do it. So I like sent him stuff over the internet and then he sent stuff back and we just sort of went back and forth, and then like 12 songs later, there's a record. So it's kind of like, you know, just sort of the coping mechanism of the early pandemic for us. It's, it's been so interesting hearing how bands have uh, continued to be creative and, and write music even when they can't be together. Um, Kate, you, you, your involvement with um, collaborators because um, we've had a few artists in and um, I mentioned we had Lung coming in and they go oh Kate Wakefield just played on my album Aww, and nice. uh, she's the best to work with tell me about some of the things you've been doing besides Lung uh, around the Cincinnati area with some artists yeah uh, so in the Cincinnati area it's really fun when you play the cello because everybody wants you to play on their record because mm -hmm. it's a cello yeah. cellos are so they just complement everything uh, so I've been really lucky to play on like Jess Lamb's music and Wonky Tonk and um, some of John Hoffman's stuff and just a lot. Uh, Wussy, I got to play backup cello for Wussy. That was really cool. Also recorded by John. So yeah, it's been, it, I picked a good instrument to play. Yeah, for sure. I, and, that, and that brings me to uh, my next point. So you don't see a lot of rock bands with a, a cello. No. How did, how did you land here? How did you, and how did you make it work? I think it's just like I don't play guitar and I don't play bass and I didn't want to learn and cello is like the instrument that I can kind of play and so it was like, it was like, well, why not, you know? But yeah, it's just the instrument I can play. It's interesting because uh, y your setup w behind you there, you're playing this through a bass amp and a guitar amp. I mean, it's a fun instrument to write for because there's like so much high, uh, it, there's just a lot of range to the cello. You know, you can go so high, you can go so low and so it's like, and since it's a bow rather than plucked or strummed, like you really can sort of hit like a bass line and then do a bunch of different, like you can, there's, it's really versatile. I don't know why it's not used for rock music more. You guys are, are one of the louder bands 
we've had uh, play on lounge X, which is which feels great to be around because I haven't been to a loud concert in ages. Um, where, where where do you think you land on the music spectrum? I'm I'm <laughs> struggled to call you alt, alt rock or, or punk rock. It's kind of our problem. We don't know our genre. Like I don't know. We're kind of like cinematic alternative pop punk. Some not pop punk, but like pop. Like we're just all over the place. Mm-hmm. You know when you see shirts that say "Death to False Metal," <laughs> that's us. Yeah, <laughs> they want to kill us. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, with that, um, I, I'd love to hear some more music. What's the next song we're going to hear? Uh, it's called Sorry. Sorry. We are uh, very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We got more music from Lung here at WCPO Lounge X.
Thanks for having us. That was fun. That was I'm Nervous from Long, and before that we heard Sorry. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and playing, playing these new songs. Um, well, firstly, thanks for having us. This oh. was really awesome. And the best way to find us is at our website, lungtheband.com, or Instagram at lungtheband, or Facebook, lungtheband. We got a TikTok, but it's not doing anything, <laughs> so we'll see. You never know. And I, I, I hear this will be on vinyl as well, this album? Yes. If you want if you want to buy our new record, go to sofaburnrecords.com or sofaburn.com or whatever it is. And that is all the vinyl. They have vinyl and there. CDs and stuff. Uh, thanks for coming in, and uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as well. well thank, thank you, you for having us.